Hey guys, it's Bakusagi, and we're back for more Earthbound. Uh, last episode, we traversed the gold mine, fought a whole bunch of moles, and we bust the Runaway Five out of their financial situation again. So, I'm going to continue. Oh, I can't see the Runaway Five here anymore? I should dump the sorry excuse of a man and become a groupie. I heard Venus made an appearance at the Runaway Five show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. <laughs> That is fantastic. I love that line. Anyway, we better see what else is going on here in Foresight. Hey dude, what's up? I heard the department store finally reopened. They have a boffo sale. Huh. Well, before we go to the department store, I'm gonna take you around Foresight a bit. Uh, here's the dinosaur museum. We won't be going there just yet. We'll come back a little bit later. The department store is right here. It's just reopened. Apparently they're having boff of sales. I don't even know what that word means, but whatevs. Right here is the Monotoli building. We'll be visiting here later, too. You boys are sneaking around singing for... <laughs> Got it, Ness. <laughs> Alright, I checked out your name. Yeah, you said you boys here, but you kind of neglected to notice that there is also a girl in this group. Anyway, I'm going to come over here to this guy. Who's got the goods? And apparently I can't sell things. <laughs> Do you believe that? I have never noticed that. Well, anyway, I'm going to get rid of these stupid chickens. I'm gonna use a for sale sign. Yeah. Give me just a second here. Whoa! Lady comes barely into all of us. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got rid of those stupid chickens so they can quit clucking all over the place, and up here, I believe the hospital is this way, I think it's right up here in the north, yes, but yeah, Foresight is, oh, here's an enemy, yeah, if you remember the enemies in Tucson, how they were often people, anyway, this is the extra cranky lady, she's not too tough to kill, but her attack is pretty strong. <laughs> and she can... I think that lowers your offense or some guts or something. I don't know, but whatever. She'll leave a hand axe trap around pretty often. Uh, which I believe does damage and can solidify the enemy. Something like that. But anyway, we are going to head to the department store now. Because... Well, pretty much all the other important places in Foresight will be visiting... I just walked right past it. We'll be visiting in a bit. So, let's see what they've got. This place is a bit more expansive than the store at Tucson. There's four floors as opposed to three. Here's the lady that sell, sells condiments. There's a burger shop, a bakery. Leave the weapons shop is on the top floor. See what they got here. Nothing really important. I think they have things for. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay. Uh. Well, I'll finish showing you around the. You want a bitch? I'll finish showing you around the department store before I upgrade my inventory and stuff. So yeah, we got some armor in that place, and then this here is weapons for Ness. This is also weapons for Ness and Paula, but they're slingshots and yo-yos and stuff, which I personally don't like using. Anyway, I'm going to take a moment to upgrade my equipment and some other things in my inventory, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I've upgraded my equipment the most that I could. Um, honestly, it wasn't really that much. I got, uh, I got gold bracelets for Ness and Jeff. Paula actually did not need any equipment. And so, yeah, as you can tell, I rearranged my inventory a bit. Uh, there's a guy to the far left of the second floor who sells bottle rockets and whatnot, so I got a few of those for Jeff. And we restocked our ketchup packets for Magic Truffle. Now, as you can see here, I had Escargo Express deliver the pencil eraser because we'll be needing that coming up pretty soon. So, yeah, looks like we're pretty good to go, so let's head out of here. Uh... 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 Your 
attention, please. With a customer from one end, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. That was Customer Ness, fourth floor office. Gwag! Okay, so let me assess this situation. I attempted to exit the department store, the lights went off, and Paula is suddenly missing. I'm gonna file this under not good. Well, guess we better do as that voice said. I mean, we want to get Paula back, right? So we better proceed to the fourth floor. And holy shit, those presents are moving. Now, the enemies in this place are not easy. These motherfuckers right here, they can do well over 100 damage a hit, so don't even worry about your PP right now. Because, holy shit. You only have to, yeah, yeah, see that? Oh my god, took that teddy bear with one fucking hit. But yeah, don't even be scared of using your PSI on this, because <laughs> these guys, they hit hard. Fortunately, this is a very short section, so you don't have to worry about your PP at all. Just keep your HP up, and yeah. See, right here, this is where the game starts to get serious. I mean, up until now, it's been full of quirky, fun, lighthearted humor. Ness, customer Ness, please hurry to Paula. Gwar! But yeah, right now it's. I'm honestly pretty creeped out. And oh my god. Foxes everywhere. This guy, he's he's not a pushover either. I don't think his attacks are near as powerful as the Miss Burgers, but he can I believe he can put you to sleep. So it's not it's not as high a priority to take out as the record is, but it's still you don't want to trifle with these enemies because they are intense. Yeah. They also use electrical shock attacks. <laughs> but as you can see, I... Oh, fuck. I thought about his mother in his sleep. But yeah, as you can see, I gave the Franklin badge to Jeff. Because, yep, I knew Paula was gonna get, you know, taken out from under us. Oh, shit. Oh, good, green swirl. <laughs> Well, fortunately, when you get a green swirl, you can, you're always able to run away. And they'll disappear from the screen, too. Ness, customer Ness. Gwag! Gwag! Shit. What the fuck is this thing? Gwag! Gwag! You finally made it. This department store is gonna be your grave. Gwag! You will be gone and you'll be burning in. Well, you'll go to heaven. <laughs> that is an example of getting crap past the radar. Now this guy. We haven't really seen an otherworldly being like this in a, quite a while. Um, unfortunately, he can use PSI. I believe he can use Freeze, which is very deadly at this level of the game. So, yeah, you really want to be careful. Fortunately, if you have big bottle rockets, it's not that hard. But yeah, you just... you just... <laughs> okay, big bottle of rocket took him out in one blow. He didn't even get to show him what he could do. Dang. <laughs> okay then. Even though you could beat me, Master Gigas will avenge me. At this moment, Paula should be... Monotoli. Gwar! Okay, that was some creepy shit. Not really because I fucking took him out in one hit, but... Well, the lights are back on. All the enemies are gone. Dang. Well, we took care of that, but Paula's still missing. That stupid tentacle guy didn't even have her. What an asshole. Uh, there's not really much we can do about it. I was sitting here because I was scared. Uh, yeah, I was fighting fucking sentient records and guitars and shit. Somehow I felt like the lights would get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. Hold on. Anyway, that tentacle monster... 
Sorry to bother you, big bro. This is Escargo Express. I had a phone call from a friend of yours recently. She asked me to hold on to the pencil razor machine. Do you know anything about this? Well, since you know about the item, I'll hold on to it for you. You need I'll deliver it to you anytime you want. Aww. Yeah, that's why I gave Paula the pencil razor, because since you will need it in an upcoming part of the game... Sorry, just give me a moment. <laughs> yeah, uh... The game knows that you will be needing it. So, if it's in Paula's inventory when she gets kidnapped, then... And, yeah, Cargo Express will take it and we'll deliver it to you free of charge. Which is good, so, be so you'll have a free inventory space. Anyway, we're gonna go here to the cafe because I haven't taken you here yet. Now, uh, we're kinda trying to ask around about that Monotoli guy that the tentacle dude was talking about. I have no information on him. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> no puns are funny either. I love the NPCs here. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Then I say I knew someone asked me who is it. It really surprised me. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. What? Does Mr. Galdegard Monotoli come here often? Hello? Time to get up? It can never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. There's a loud noise outside. Must be the seventh inning stretch, and the fans are singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game in the Stadium. I used to be Monotoli's employer. Then I realized the schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out a secret, so I'm spending my time here waiting to see if he ever drops in. Well... I didn't really learn that much about Montoli. Oh well. Yeah, what's this commotion? Dude, is that Everdred? Dang, we haven't seen that guy since Tucson. I hope he's okay. Oh, I'm trying to talk to the other fat lady. Oh, come on. Everdred's a cool guy. A corpse? He can't be dead. Oh, he's breathing, that's good. Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you- No. Oh, you asshole. Uh, here, take some fucking ketchup. Dude, Everdude, what's up? <laughs> aren't you Ness? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Ness, aren't you? It's me, we met in Tucson, Everdude from Berlin Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. Strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Mani Mani. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. Oh, I'm in pain. And Monotoli tricked me and stole it from me. He tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen. I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. <sighs> d d do you want to hear it again? No, dude, you sound like you're in pain. Before I go, here's my last haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye and lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Oh, so long. Dude, Everage, you can be okay, buddy. Man, that wow. Some serious shit is going down, you guys. Why well, yes I am on the cafe because I have some I have I have something important to do right now. So Everage told us to check behind the counter. And that's what we're gonna do. And sometimes it's kind of finicky. Jigga what? Okay, I think I'm seriously tripping balls here. Can we get back? No, we can't. No, that's right, I am the host here. What? What the? Okay, yeah, this guy, um... 
He throws bombs at you, basically. So you want to get rid of him pretty fast. Yeah, he'll count down from three and then he'll throw a bomb. So, it's not that hard to take him out before then. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Usually, you get, you get pretty lucky on that. Anyway, what the hell is this place? Lady, what's up? Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. What? What? Foresight? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Moonside? Yes is no, and no is yes. It makes perfect sense in Moonside. Okay, um... <laughs> Welcome to Moonside. Welcome to the moon 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 side the moon side. That was fucking creepy. Welcome to Moonside. Welcome to the moon. I am tripping so hard, you guys. I don't understand a fucking thing. Or er, uh Yeah, no, I, I don't. <laughs> oh god, I am so I don't even know what is going on here. Tell you what I hate in this world. That steak. The color, the smell, the taste, the texture. Hey you, you're drooling. Nah, no, not gonna lie, I hate steak too. Hello, and goodbye. What? Um Okay. The Mani Mani statue is up ahead, but I'm gonna stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me, because you aren't with a guy whose eyebrows are connected who also has a gold tooth. Okay. Uh holy shit, it's a flying painting. Abstract art. I believe you can use continuous attack, which can really hurt if it. Yeah. Yeah, just don't let it live for too long because <laughs> it's not pretty. How about I sharpen you? I just love sharpening. You don't want me to sharpen? This place is fucking scaring me. Hey, parking meters, and you're walking around. <laughs> That's so funny. Welcome to Moonside. I'm so freaked out right now. I, it's just, you can't even. Do you know whose bones are in display here? The answer is your bones. My bones. Bones, bones. Bone, bone, bone. Oh god, I can't even. Uh, these guys. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to make cuts here because <laughs> half the enemies here appear as the stupid fire sprite thing, so sorry. <laughs> but my god, what the hell is this place? Welcome to Moonside. Why did you come to Moonside? How long are you staying in Moonside? Hopefully not very long. Yes, I like bones. Bone, bone, bone. <sighs> I just, I can't. Uh, hey, guy, what's up? I will send for you first, and then you second, to the hospital. Uh... Yeah, I just... I, I can't even. It's... Help! Yes means no, no means... No, I knew this already. <laughs> Basically, this place is just... I, I don't even... How do I get out of here? Ness's HP drops to zero! Jeff's HP drops to zero! That freaked me the fuck out as a kid because holy shit... Ha! Everyone is someone, don't you think so? No. <laughs> Psycho talk. Well... Really, there isn't a lot to do in this place. Uh, it can be kind of confusing, though. I mean, see, look at all of these guys everywhere. They all- all of the surfer dudes. <laughs> yeah, they're freaky. Oh, I already talked to you. Whatevs. So yeah, it's- it's really kind of hard to navigate in this place. Well, <laughs> I'm getting a ton of lag right now, but yeah. Um... <laughs> I better find some place safe where there aren't freaking paintings chasing me. Because <laughs> I'm pissed scared right now. The hospital. The hospital's a good place to go. Okay, well. <laughs> 
I'm going to leave it off here, actually, because this place is creeping me out, and I need to review myself on how to get out of here. So, yeah, uh, if you like this, feel free to subscribe. This has been Baka Usagi, and I'll see you next time.